Experts are also saying more people are having vision issues in the pandemic. The extra screen time is actually putting a strain on our eyes. Yeah, Dr. Diana Sheba is an ophthalmologist with Kaiser Permanente, and she's here talking about the issue and how you can actually preserve your vision. So, doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Um, talk about remote working and learning. How is it really impacting the vision among people of, really of all ages? Good morning. You know, I think that with the onset of the pandemic in my own clinic in the last two years, I've definitely seen a little more patients who are coming in with what we call digital eye strain or some refer to as computer vision syndrome. I think the studies have shown that an estimate now of the average American worker is spending about seven hours in front of the computer, either at office at home. And so in terms of symptoms, we're seeing not only eye symptoms, but also symptoms of headache, neck pain, shoulder pain, and then specific to the eye, they may be complaining of eye soreness, blurred vision, or even gritty kind of dry eye symptoms as well. Yeah, you know, doctor, when you notice that your eyes are getting strained, what's the best thing to do? You know, really the best thing to do is look at kind of your environmental ergonomics, you know, looking, making sure that the monitor that's in front of you, like now, is, you know, if you put your arm out, it's at least about 25 inches from the computer screen, you're sitting at about arm's length, and that the height of your monitor should probably be a lower than you might think. The top of the monitor should be at about eye level or just below eye level. There's also another great tip that the American Academy of Ophthalmology suggests as well, is what we call the 20-20-20 rule, is that every 20 minutes is that you focus on an object about 20 feet away and for 20 seconds just focus on that object in the distance and what it does is it relaxes those muscles in your eye that have been working to really focus up close. Um, another thing you can do is make sure that the lighting in your environment isn't ideal, that you may need maybe increased lighting or if you have a window open, maybe it's causing glare. And then to increase the contrast or adjust the brightness on your screen. And then last, Research has shown that when you're actually on the screen a lot or doing a lot of near work, your blink rate decreases. And so you're not spreading tears, your, ear, your, your eyes can become dry. So using artificial tears maybe three or four times throughout the day can help alleviate your symptoms. Well, doctor, a lot of us have felt like our vision has truly changed. So how often should we get an eye exam? You know, at least once a year is a really good, I think if you're healthy, you can see, you know, your optometrist, you can also see your ophthalmologist as well. It's also a good idea to get a dilated exam so that we can actually look inside the eye and make sure that we're not seeing any disease that needs to be managed or treated at that time as well. Yeah, and also, you know, the pandemic has increased stress for so many people. Can that have an impact on eye health? You know, I think that in terms of, you know, having a lot of stress, I, you know, I think what I'm hearing from a lot of patients is, if anything, they're kind of stressed with their eyesight actually in front of the computer. What's really important is um, making sure that the glasses, if you are wearing glasses or if you do need glasses, that you have that kind of focusing ability um, to be corrected. A lot of patients around the age of 40 or so may start having difficulty focusing it near. And when you're looking at the computer screen a lot, you may develop a lot of eye soreness trying to focus up close. So trying, you know, getting the appropriate glasses that will help you kind of work longer at the computer will help a lot with eye strain. All right, Dr. Sheba, we certainly appreciate your time this morning. Thank you very much.